To make electricity, the standard way is to get steam. You could burn coal, turn water into steam. You could use nuclear energy, turn water into steam. You make the steam, the steam spins a turbine, the turbine spins a generator. Of course, it would be great if you could get that steam for free. For instance, let's say you had some place where steam was just coming out of the ground. Old Faithful, famous park in the western United States. But you don't want to take some beautiful geyser of having water pouring out of the ground and say, oh, we'll make a power plant out of that. But there are cases where there are hot rocks underground. And all you need to do is take some type of uh, well, right, and drill down into where you've got these hot rocks sitting underground. Take your water down, make another hole where it's going to come up. You put down water, and the hot rocks are hot enough that you bring up steam. And the steam goes right into a turbine, which then spins your generator. And you have made a power plant with just using the heat of the earth. Of course, there could be some problems that if you do this too long, the rocks no longer become hot rocks, but just rocks. So you have to plan and hope there's enough heat coming from inside the earth keep this plant going. You've got to pick just the right spot. You can drill down and you can hit rocks. I like to demonstrate this. So I found a rock. This is actually a, a lava rock from a volcano we got out in Hawaii. And if I heat it up, then what happens, of course, is I can uh, pour water on it and it should turn into steam. Let me show you. All right, and, and so it's a piece of lava. And the neat thing is that it, uh, it will, um, if you were down closer to where the lava is actually flowing, right, it's hot. Um, so we are going to uh, heat up the lava. So if you have an active volcano, like on the big island of Hawaii, you could put a power plant right there. You would be really stupid. <laughs> Because, of course, you'd spend all that money, you'd build this wonderful power plant that simply would take water, have it go down into the ground, get heated by the burning lava, turn into steam, stick a turbine there, your energy source is free. Until, of course, the lava changes direction and destroys your capital investment by destroying your power plant. All right? Um, but if you have a relatively stable place, all right, all right, there we go. You can take the torch away, right? and I put water on my hot rock, it can turn into steam. This image actually shows one of the first geothermal wells drilled in 1977 in this area of Northern California that had just the right combination of hot enough rocks, not an active volcano which is gonna destroy your entire power plant, and near enough to a place where someone cares about using the energy. California is a populous state. 72 miles north of San Francisco is a wonderful place to make electricity. This type of well, you can see the derrick where they drill down to get to the hot water. They go pretty deep. And when they pull it back up, you can see the place there where the steam's coming out. Right? And that's what you can connect to a power plant. This was then. Today, here is a picture of one of the 22 installations in this field. Massive power plant, but its energy source is free. This geysers area of Northern California actually makes something more than 0.2 quads. It's 0.2%, maybe even a quarter of 1% of all of the energy use in the United States. It's a geothermal facility that has the ideal conditions. The problem is that it's probably the only place in the United States that has such ideal conditions. Near enough a population center where the electricity is useful and a hot enough rock formation that won't get instantly cooled off or cooled off after a few years. 
The Geysers power plant complex is actually going down in its electrical production, in part because the rocks are cooling off. So we've been talking about taking the steam out of the ground and actually turning it into electricity. But what if you just wanted the steam? That's what they do in Reykjavik, Iceland. In Reykjavik, an island country built in volcanic areas where you have hot rocks under the ground and, and even some active volcanoes, you can actually use not just the steam to make electricity, but you can use the steam to actually make district heating, to take buildings and take this hot water that you've gotten from the ground and use it in all of your radiators to actually produce your heat as opposed to making first electricity and then using electric heat. Much more efficient to use the system to be able to make energy in that manner. So what are the pros and cons of actual geothermal hot rock energy? Well, the advantages are it can be very cost effective. It can be very economic if you have it. And that's what the cons are. You could spend an enormous capital investment and then find out that you've cooled off your field in a few years. So you need to do some detailed testing first. And will this replace all of our energy use and be the green energy source of the future? Only in some spots. You're going to need to have the right spot to do it. And if you can do it and have a centralized enough group of buildings that you heat with it, that's really great. That's what you need to know about geothermal energy.